Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 8. And this time we are going to try Horizon Android ROM. I have never used this ROM before actually. So I have been using this ROM about a week now. I have tried everything here. So let's see what we are getting with this ROM. About device, as you can see here, Horizon Android. And Android version is 15. So Android version 15 and as you can see here, release version. The version we are using here is 5.0, Nebula, Jinko and this is an official ROM. Android security patch level is 5th of February 2025. So this is the latest build of Horizon Droid ROM for this device. The UI is pretty much similar to all other AOSP based ROM, but as Android 15 based ROM, we saw that the section are categorized, but here we don't really have categorized section, but we can change that actually. So we do have few customization options here, like Horizon Lab. Although we have all the customization option here, but they don't really work. Like quick setting, we don't have anything status bar we do have network traffic only that and notification nothing miscellaneous we do have few things here lock screen nothing and theme section only we can change the setting theme so there are issues with customization section we are not getting any customization option here so as you can see here after changing that the setting ui changed and looks good actually so as you can see here we can see the battery percentage and storage option those things looks good and i do really like this type of setting ui and the notification panel is pretty much similar to all other sp based rom in terms of wi-fi network and bluetooth i haven't faced any issue bo lt and bo wi-fi also working so no issue with them display section we do have adaptive brightness does work dark theme icon manager few other things like double tap to work and double tap to slip all those things are working so as you can see here no issue with them and in terms of wallpaper and style we do have AI wallpaper and emoji wallpaper so you can change them or you can use them I don't really use them actually more log screen option we have dynamic clock and few other things here nothing much no AOD and sound and vibration working perfectly fine no issue with sound and vibration and we do have few other things like adaptive sound so if you want adaptive sound you can turn it on and power app volume control also available and additional sounds option diaper sound and few other things pretty much similar to all other rom actually in terms of battery the battery is doing pretty pretty good actually and charging control option is also there so you can schedule we can limit charge all those things and this rom does support fast charging so you can charge up to 18 watt i did try that and it is charging fast and we do have few other options like battery manager battery usage and these things are pretty much available with all other rom but fast charging you will not find with most of the custom rom so here we are getting fast charging and it is working in terms of security and privacy we do have both face and fingerprint unlock so as you can see here fingerprint unlock is pretty much fast and fluent no issue but I did not try face unlock because obviously it's going to be a little bit slower side, but works actually. And as a Android 15 based ROM, we do have private space. And in the more secret and privacy setting, we do have few other options. As you can see here, extended unlock, theft protection, all those things. Pretty much similar with other custom ROM. And the system setting, we have keyboard section live and gesture options. So these things are a Bible, navigation mode, one hand more swipe to screenshot i did not try that let's try so it is working no issue with swipe to screenshot quick torch so double tap to turn on it will work and we do have quick tap here let's try quick tap and twice to take screenshot so let's try sensitivity okay So quick tab is not working. I did try that. So not working. Quick tab does not work. Quick tab not working. And we don't really have anything else here. Like only Xiaomi parts option is a Bible. Most of the ROM come with Xiaomi parts option. You can calibrate the display setting, color calibration, and all those things. That's cool. Nothing else. Pretty much that's it. And in terms of application, we are not getting a lot here. We do have 
MIUI camera and everything is working here actually I did try that even 48 megapixel you will not have any issue a little bit slower side working and if I try 0.6x working and if we try put 48 megapixel 48 megapixel so everything is working in the camera section no issue at all in terms of Google Photos unlimited storage that is available so if I show you that unlimited storage is available and fortunately magic editor is also working so let's try that edit section and we can try magic editor pretty quick too actually unlike other ROMs I did try this feature on many ROMs this one is pretty much quick and working so working really so working really well in terms of other features we do have Dolby at post option and WhatsApp is working perfectly fine no issue with that one thing which is not good about this ROM is that we are not getting safety net feature I know many people use their device for bank application and other application so in that case this is one of the biggest downside of this ROM so there is no safety net feature you can't use bank application and few other application also will not be compatible with this ROM so be mindful about that and in terms of other AI feature we do have circle to search feature a little bit slower side as always but working so as you can see here working and in terms of calling I did try phone call as you can see here test Bo LTE and Bo Wi-Fi both of them working and the recording is also working so if I play recording now so recording is also working so no issue with Bo S call and recording and in terms of gaming the gaming performance is also really really good no issue with gaming you can use this ROM for gaming too you will not have any kind of issue so the ROM is pretty much daily drivable if you don't use bank application pretty smooth and everything works really well there is no major issue minor issues are there as I said safety net feature is not there and you might find few other minor issues uh, here and there like as I said like uh, the features are not working customizations are not working as you can see here they don't show anything here so there are issues here and there but mostly the ROM is pretty much usable you will not have any issue using this ROM that's all about this ROM I will put the ROM link in the description below if anyone wants to try this ROM thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one